Michelle, you have been a busy lady lately with to say the least. a lot going on weather-wise. And the tropics heating up, so it looks like we're going to continue with this busy trend. Mm, fun times. Hurricane, we're mm -hmm, watching. Irma. Mm -hmm. Sunshine, we're tracking today here. Beautiful sunshine at that. So giving Mother Nature giving me a little break today, and plenty of sunshine beaming down over the city of Tuscaloosa there. It looks like a few people rolling back into town from their trip to Atlanta. 84 currently in T-Town, loads of sunshine, light south breeze. It's 84 here in Birmingham with 83 in East Alabama and Anniston. Very little chance for rain today. A couple of showers may develop south of Interstate 85. So unless you have travel plans that take you southbound, you're going to stay relatively dry. Beautiful day at the lake, beautiful day at the pool, just a great day in general. It's going to be filled with sun and really as far as we can see, that's the case. Some moisture moving in over Florida and that's developing those rain showers, otherwise making it a little muggy. Winds beginning to shift out of the south. We're going to feel the effects of that humidity very soon as the air mass turns a bit more soupy for the next couple of days. For now, we're just talking a few, a few fair weather cumulus clouds passing by mid to upper 80s through the afternoon by 6 p.m. 83 degrees. Temperatures will be sliding back into the 70s by 10, 11 o'clock tonight after midnight dipping into the upper 60s. And you'll notice maybe a passing cloud overnight as well. But here's the next big story. We're talking rainfall tomorrow. This cold front that's going to be impacting us tomorrow is a big playmaker when we're talking about Hurricane Irma. So keep what I'm telling you in mind with our future cast tomorrow because it will play a part as I show you our next graphic, which is Irma. So rainfall moves through tomorrow. We're looking at that cold front to provide showers and storms on and off from around mid afternoon through the middle of the evening. And the heaviest rainfall is going to scoot south of 20 there. We could even see those storms laps lasting after sunset. We generally see them clearing up, but this is not the case. And then you will notice that the sky will be clearing through our Wednesday. Drier air moves in and temperatures will be dropping big time. OK, so let's shift gears kind of, but that cold front is what's really going to guide the storm. Hurricane Irma right now a Category 3 hurricane are expected to become a Category 4 rather. Winds now at 120 miles an hour, and it's expected to maintain its Category 4 strength as it moves across Haiti, Dominican Republic, on into Cuba. Interesting, it will be interesting to see what happens as it heads towards Cuba. But remember that cold front? Well, that cold front could help steer that storm and maybe push it back north into the Gulf. So we have still a lot of time, five to seven days. So we'll focus on that later this week. But for the next couple of days, some rain, then cooler and sunny as we move towards the end of the week and on into the weekend. And that's your storm track seven day forecast.